guys, we have talked about a lot of bad Super Saiyan farms so far, or Saiyan farms in general. And now we can move up the ladder and talk about less bad farms. Maybe, maybe some good ones while we edit. Maybe I. Mm, well, whenever I am talking about people about lazy farms in Dragon Ball Super, people seem to be in the impression that I love Super Saiyan 2 and that it's a great farm or something. But on the on contrary, I. I feel Super Saiyan 2 is a form that just exists and looks no different based on users. It looks hardly different based on users, let me correct. You can blame Toriyama that he forgot that this form even existed. He drew Super Saiyan with electricity around during Yosun Goku. One of the few times I can understand that he would forget uh, about something. When I was a kid I didn't even acknowledge Super Saiyan 2 as a form. It's just, you Super Super Saiyan, no you have all the sparkles around you. And what am I, what I'm trying to say is I don't like Super Saiyan being devalued with more stages. To me nothing beats Goku's iconic hairstyle. Super Saiyan was a notable exception because it's execution rather than design. And as in terms of design, the reason I can tolerate Super Saiyan 2 over the other forms in Dragon Ball Super is one simple thing. It's an evolution to in terms of design to Super Saiyan. Even if the change is minor to a character, when we saw it, it was significantly different in hairstyle and the addition of electricity. Golden hair and aura still remained. This is still a super scene. More wasn't needed. As much as I think the Cell Saga was a disappointment, the idea of surpassing Super Saiyan had an interesting ring to it. It was nice to see everyone take everyone's take on what Super Saiyan surpassing Super Saiyan means. Vegeta went great too, which had more muscles. Trunks went overboard with Grade 3, which shows that simply transforming isn't enough to surpass Super Saiyan. And Goku just decided to simply sub master Super Saiyan, which data books refer to as Great 4. These forms haven't been given in serious names unless you count Ultra Saiyan or Super Vegeta. Gohan's Great 5 form, which we now know as Super Saiyan 2, is the result of Goku's training. Gohan's potential and the reward of mastering Super Saiyan. It was pretty clever, especially in the manga. Well, especially in the anime. When Goku. Well, it wasn't also in the manga, so. When Goku found out that Gohan managed to tap in into uncharted territory. Well, it wasn't the anime. Another reason why the anime is better is than the manga. So, where's the problem? I will rant about grade 3 and grade 2 on another day, since it is really hard to criticize something that is meant to suck, since they their purpose and there can be arguments to be made for both Toriyama going overboard or not. The worst I can say about grade 2 and Three is that people who defend the recall of transformations in Super can just point out these useless forms and say that Z introduced far more. And well, back to Super Saiyan 2, when Gohan supposed to fight Cell and couldn't perform despite being stronger than Goku, 
and already being able to tap into this power but doesn't want to kill but he thought it was a great idea to insult Cell with a poor attempt to sway him away from even bothering to fight him in the first place it was an interesting it was interesting Gohan even tried that thinking that both have similar power they could come to an agreement like you can um, perhaps see Goku and Cell um, be some kind of best fighting bodies but Gohan was arrogant he told Cell that he had no chance and will wet himself or something you can imagine how it turned out when you say it to somebody who is made out of the components of some of the strongest fighters and obtained his life goal being the ultimate being you can imagine how someone like that would react right it took 18 no i mean 16 speaking out about not being ashamed to fight for the right thing and being crushed that gohan thought about a bird and got a discount Super Saiyan Goku from Namek Legacy. And I know I'm harsh here, since the amazing Ost is coming with this transformation, but you know what happened? Gohan overpowers Cell and shows an arrogant side of himself similar to Super Saiyan. And it may not be an exclusive feature to Super Saiyan 2, it makes me wonder that this is so that's supposed to be surpassing Super Saiyan it, uh, I would imagine Super Saiyan uh, surpassing Super Saiyan not to be a transformation but a form that completely overrides the previous state normally instead ever going Super Saiyan Gohan would go into this and the stem strain would be similar or Ultimate Gohan which ended up being a transformation Two, no. Okay, if we look at Super Saiyan Two as a form above Super Saiyan instead of just surpassing Super Saiyan, it doesn't have much justification to exist. It's just one of many filler forms we are get going to get and get slightly more power and less stamina. It's no different than having no transformation and conserving your energy before strikes or always releasing a constant amount of energy but um, less big attacks and uh, this is why I'm against transformations even if they are ones I appreciate the Uza wasn't meant to be a form for fighting since Goku would, uh, wouldn't be able to be himself in that stage I have watched the series from start, enjoying arcs like the Dragon Ball arc, the first Budokai arc, and launch beating up kidnappers of Goku because she was going to buy ice cream for him. Also, 16 seemed to be the most random person to convince Gohan since they haven't spoken once prior to that moment. It felt to me less impactful compared to that moment in the Saiyan Saga where Gohan met that one robot. Such a great episode, by the way. You should just go back watch some Z fillers from the Saiyan Saga. So, Super Saiyan 2 is a middle ground form for me. It exists and gives a notable change to Gohan. It is an important. It is an improvement in terms of design but the change is too minimal to get significant praise it was well thought out requirement in it had a well thought out requirement in mastering Super Saiyan but that now is tarnished thanks to Dragon Ball Super to be another victim of bag tingle another reason why cauliflower is a mistake fuck cauliflower if it went for Gohan, who turned Super Saiyan 2 the first time, 
it would feel far more disappointing because of it being Super Saiyan Goku all over again. And the reason it works with Gohan is that Gohan has fun finally full control and understanding of his power. It is not the mental but not the mental capacity to grasp the si situation. It was hard to tell if the transformation, his Saiyan instincts, because of course, or him wanting payback that were the reasons he acted out of character. It's a form I have no real feelings about. I don't dislike it. I don't like it either. It exists. Perhaps you guys feel different about it. It's popular because it's Gohan's biggest highlight and the birth of many countless um, Gohan fanboys that get angry about the Boozark and such. But it is also a form Majin Vegeta use, but personally I think his awakening power and motivation instead of Super Saiyan 2. Goku fought him, but you don't see many fans talk about Super Saiyan 2 Goku. It's like Goku's most forgettable form next to Super Saiyan. 